Hi friends, it's me Stace. Uh, today is Tuesday, April 16th, 2024. Uh, this is going to be a chatty video. It might run a little long, maybe about a half hour or so. So we're going to hit pause now, grab a drink or a snack, come back and chat. I'd love to have you guys join me. I'm going to share with you some crochet projects I made recently, the about the past two weeks or so. Some laser projects, my new toy, and give you guys an update with my two craft spaces on how we're going to make, hopefully make them better. And let's first start with the crochet things. I'm going to start with keychains first. So I made a bunch of these. I also made some amigurumi that I'm really excited about. Otherwise, I'm going to plushies. I'll show you those as well. All right, so let's start with the keychains. I made this one last night, maybe, or today. I'm not even sure. A little chicken nugget. Really cute, right? Made this little frog. These were all free patterns, except for one of them. Okay, so this was a free pattern off of YouTube. Very, very cute. I love him. So easy to make. I love the fact that you're, you know you can fidget with him. You can tie his arms together. You can tie his legs together. He's just absolutely charming. Made that one. I made a mushroom. This is a mushroom poppet. So it looks like this, and it pops up and down. I like it, but not as a keychain. So I'll probably just make a regular mushroom for a keychain, not the poppet kind. This gummy bear. I thought he was cute. Hubby does not like him, but I thought he looks just like a gummy bear, right? Really, really cute. I'll make him in different colors as well. I have a flower keychain holder it looks like this here or a flower chapstick holder so it's a little flower it's held together by the chain and also the keychain you lift the flower up and on the inside is your chapstick then close the flower and your chapstick is nice and secure we have that one all right then we have ice cream now these all those are free this was a paid pattern off of etsy all right so the little ice cream cones they are adorable so we have orange we have grape Pinks, I guess this could be like a pink lemonade. Vanilla. We have, of course, with vanilla, we have to have chocolate, right? Then we have cherry. Then my favorite we have is mint chocolate chip. How cute is that one, right? So we have those. All right, then I made a little turtle. So I guess this would be amigurumi. Very small. I have the keychain on his tail, so it would hang like this or like this if you're facing you. But he's really, really cute, adorable. I was going to put the keychain on the shell, but he would hang uneven. So I put him on like that. And if he's too big for a keychain, it could be you know, a purse charm, a backpack charm, that kind of thing. All right, so they're the keychains. Let's talk about the critters. I have a whole container full. All right. All right. So let me make some room for myself here. So amigurumi is something I never really thought I would get into because I thought it was too tedious way too time consuming, too intricate, I can never figure it out, I don't have the patience for it, yada yada yada. But I wanted to try it, and now I'm addicted to it, I love it. Alright, so I made this little sea turtle, looks like that there. Um, this was a free pattern, on, or a free video on YouTube, but I did buy her pattern, so I had the actual written pattern, but isn't he cute, right? And I just made him out of scrap yarn I had, so he's not the best color combination, just to see if I, how easy he was, if I, if I liked him. So I did like him, so I made him bigger with the blanket yarn. Okay, so here is the same turtle, just bigger, right? Now this one, not the best color combination. This was new yarn, this was yarn I had. I like his face, I just think his eyes, I think with this yarn, it's just, it's just too dark. His, the yarn is too dark for the eyes. And I also messed up on the butt on the leg. So you can see here how this leg is up there and this leg is down there, so I cleared it off. So I did mess up, I'll make him again because I really did enjoy making him. It wasn't really hard to do. So this one and the other one will go to my grandkids. Okay, they get all Yaya's mess ups. All right, then we have an alligator. I do like him. Okay, he's kind of cute. Um, I liked him, but I think his tail needs to be longer. This is a free pattern off of um, Instagram. Then I have this one. Okay, this is also, a, this is a free pattern off of YouTube. I like this one. I like the face detail better. You can see his nostrils. You can clearly see his head. Um, he has these little nubby things on the back, and he, but he needs a longer tail. So I'm going to make them again. I just don't know if I want to make this alligator or that alligator or this alligator with those legs. I'm not sure, but I'll definitely make them again. All right, then we have this little mushroom poppet out of that same thick blanket yarn. Okay, um, I like him. I just probably won't make him again. He was really hard to do with the blanket yarn because it's much thicker. I have this little mushroom guy, Instagram pattern free. I use the same exact yarn, same exact size hook, same exact eyes sizes, but he does need, to me, he needs a nose and a smiley face. So I, I, I do have safety eyes. I will have to buy the safety noses. 
and also um, inverted the mouth on, but he was really, he's, he's cute. Okay, maybe a little bit too big. Um, you know, maybe not. I don't know. I liked him, and he wasn't hard to do. Little bunny rabbit, love the face. Look at the nose. Love the little floppy ears. Cotton tail in the back, and there's his bottom. He was fun. Then we have this turtle. Again, it's all out of that really soft um, plush blanket yarn. Okay, he's really cute. I like him a lot. Uh, this guy I messed up on. Um, so I'll probably take this guy apart, but um, I made a monster. Okay, this is a free pattern on YouTube. Um, you can have it be one eye, one big eye, two eyes, three eyes, you know, whatever. You can make your monster any way you want. So I chose three eyes. Um, very easy to do, but he, and he also does sit. But you can see when he sits, I have his face on backwards. I put it on the wrong side. So I'll take him apart, save the eyes, and remake him. All right, same color you got. I'm not a fan of this, this color, maybe. A little baby squid. I think he's really cute, but I think he needs something. He's missing something. I think he needs a like a like maybe a multicolored yarn um, and maybe different eyes. He wasn't hard to do, so I'll probably take him apart and redo him as well. I made a little whale. He's really cute. Okay, he was a free pattern on um, um, Instagram. I bought the squid pattern. Okay, I bought that like last year. All right, then we have this one. Oh my gosh, adorable. This is an axolotl. I had no idea what it was. So I did have to Google it. It is not a fish. It is a salamander. And they are just as cute in person, I guess, as, as, as a real fish as this, as this one. Look at him. He is adorable. They look just like that. Um, I love the little gills. I love the little uh, fins on the side, his little feet. Um, very, very fun to make. And he was a free pattern as well. I brought by a, a free video, but I'll probably buy, I'll probably buy the pattern off Etsy. Usually that's what I do. If they, if they're, if they do a video tutorial, they're nice enough to take their time and do a video showing how to make the item and they, they have an Etsy shop for the same thing. I will usually buy the pattern from them. All right, then we have these two, which are my absolute favorite. Oh, I also forgot this little guy. I made a Triceratops keychain. Yeah, I did not enjoy him. I was frustrated, so I'm not going to make him again. All right, then we have my last ones here. Okay, so I have two more critters. This one is a free pattern off of um, Instagram. Oh my gosh, for a free pattern, he is adorable and so easy to make. It took me about an hour to make. He is a hippo. Okay, do you see? Look at that. Love the detail of the nostrils and the face, his little ears, his tail on the back, his little feet. Um, he looks just like a hippo. And I had another pattern for a hippo. Um, that was also cute. Hubby and I both agree we like this hippo better, so we're going to stick with this one. But he is, oh my gosh, so squishy, so soft, and pretty easy to do. I did my, my other favorite is this little frog. Same frog as this fellow, okay? So let me undo him. Same exact frog as this one. Same person did the same, same person did both YouTube videos. Um, this one it sits down though. Look how cute he is. Oh my gosh, is he not adorable? I'm not a frog person, but I will become a frog person because he's just so cute. Sitting on the edge of a shelf, the corner of your kitchen, corner desk, on your night table, on your nightstand, wherever you put him, you can pose him, you can tie his legs together, you can tie his arms together. Like I, I can have him hold this little frog you just by tying his arms together. So you can obviously hold things, right? I mean, how cute is that, right? And just adorable. I, I love him. I, I think he'd be really fun to give to a girlfriend. You can tie his arms together, put like a little gift card in there for her favorite store. Um, great for kids, you know, because it's a frog. <laughs> They're really cute. Kids like usually like frogs. Um, and frog, the acronym that I know of is fully rely on God. So if their little one is maybe just starting their journey with God or learning how to pray or say prayers, you can maybe give this as a gift to them, tie the arms together, and you can maybe hand write some very simple prayers here. They can pull one out that evening or that day and pray that to God and play with their little um, froggy fidget toy as well. Um, I think that's a really fun idea. So there are all the things I crocheted. So busy, 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 right? Um, all right, so let me move on. I have other two other things to show you that I crocheted as well. These are scrunchies. Yes, free pattern or free video on um, YouTube. There are so many of them. And I chose a velvet yarn that most people um, use. And I have red, black, gray, white, and rose. Now they are crocheted, I'll show you with the white one. They are crocheted around a black goodies hair tie and I chose goodies because that's a, a brand I know and trust and that's what most people use. So when you open it up all the way, you would see the black um, hair tie there. When it's closed, you don't see the black. Um, when it's in your hair, if you have it like double wrapped in your hair, you don't see the hair, you don't see the black hair tie either. 
Um, very, very fun. I, I, I have some that I made that I, I, I do use. So I, I like those. I, then we have the, for the dogs, we have bandanas. These were fun. I did watch a person make the video and she had patterns. So I did buy the patterns for these. And I have three different colors. We, uh, they're all acrylic yarn, um, solid, multicolor yarn, and then a multicolor chunky yarn. This is the solid. This is a medium to get kind of give you a reference here. And you'll see there's no button, there's no strap, there's no loop. It's just they slip on, slip on, slip off. So they're easy on, easy off for the pets, for the dogs. Um, and again, five different sizes, extra small to extra large, and the three different colors, okay? And I think that is it with all the crochet things. Yes, it is. Um, but I've, I, I still want to make a bigger whale. I want to make a jellyfish. I want to make an octopus. I want to make a snake. Um, there's a few other patterns. My, my Etsy cart is like overflowing with ideas. So I'll just choose like maybe one a week and um, take my time and make them. But I really am enjoying, I, I love crocheting anyway. I think it's really relaxing, but I do love the aspect of amigurumi or plushies. Um, so you'll see a new category on my website very soon called plushies. All the keychains that you've seen, they'll be in the same category they've always been, which is accessories, okay? I'm right, moving on. Let me share with you some laser things. So hubby asked if I can make laser, like Halloween laser earrings with, with my black acrylic. I said, I'm sure I can. It was all him. He helped me pick out the designs. He did all the um, attaching the jump rings and the earrings and all that kind of stuff. So he did all the basic stuff. My laser just cut it. So we have two bats. And they, they're all about one and three quarters. They, do, they will vary by width a little bit, but they're really, really cute. Okay, and that's the backings of them. Okay. And then I made this earring holder, just so I can show you the rest of them. Um, so we have the word boo, a little haunted house, a witch, spider web, a cross over um, tombstone, and a spider. And they're all the three millimeter acrylic. So they'll be on my website soon as well. We do also want to buy the glow in the dark acrylic, the mirrored acrylic. Um, you know, different colors like red, yellow, green, you know, um, for Christmas time as well. So we made those. Then I made a few other um, different laser things. And the first thing I made, this is a bought pattern off of um, Etsy, are these rulers. Um, and I chose them because he had really good reviews and the, the actual measurements on the roller are spot on. They are very, 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 they are, they are very accurate. And you can choose between your little critter here and of course add your little one's name. And the critters we have, um, or images, not critters, we have a rocket, soccer ball, tractor, unicorn, panda, elephant, bus, cat, dinosaur, and a little bear. Okay, so you'll see this on my website soon. You pick your name um, and you pick the critter. Right, then we have phone stands. So they come to you like that. They're two pieces, no glue required. And I have three of them here, but I do have four different designs. I did not make the butterfly one. Right, so let me show you this one first. So it just goes like this is the... Um, a sun and let me show you this way. Okay, a sun and the moon. Then you have this piece. The short end goes in the back like such. Can okay, you just kind of squish it down there? Okay. Let me find a piece of. I'll, I'll use this. Okay. So make it flat. Okay. And let me get my phone. I have an iPhone 13, I think, with a case, pretty heavy, and that holds the phone nicely. It can also go that way. Okay. So either way you want to do it, you can do it that way. All right, so we have that one, and you just take them apart like that, okay? Next, we have a cat. Really, really cute. So there's two pieces again, and the, the cutout part goes in the back, but it's toward the front. So this, in this case, it'll be the hearts. It just goes in there like that. There we go, okay? And that's what the cat looks like. Let me get them all in there, okay? So again, a flat surface. He holds the phone either this way or that way. Okay, right, the last one we have, and I have a butterfly. I did not make that one, but we also have a butterfly, so there'll be four of them you can choose from. Then we have the dog and the dog paws. Okay, so again, the paws go in the back, so they're going toward the front. Okay, all the way in, set it down, and then your phone goes on them, or your phone goes that way. Okay, very, very cute. Love those. So that's what I've been doing as far as a laser. Other projects, I have a list. Um, with the rulers, I also bought the triangular rulers with different images on them as well. You can add your little one's name to them. Um, a tic-tac-toe board out of um, the wood. Glasses holder. Uh, Santa's trays, like cookies for Santa, and also a Christmas countdown that I'm really excited about. It's a snowman one, so love that one. So I've been pretty busy, right? Crocheting and lasering away, having a blast. All right. Let's talk about my a video tomorrow 
Yes, tomorrow probably. Um, we made this a while ago. I'm not sure how long ago we made it, but I've been saving it for that long so I always had an idea for it. I believe this was a Pinterest project, but it's a little greeting card and a box. So you have your little uh, greeting here. You can write down your message here. Then you have a little drawer that you pull out and you can put trinkets in there. You can put acrylic earrings in there, probably some chapsticks in there, whatever you want to put in there. Um, a really fun idea, but I'm actually going to make this be something different tomorrow. So you'll see that video tomorrow. Okay. All right. Let me talk about the spaces of my rooms, right? So just a quick rundown. Um, maybe this weekend, the rooms are going to be completely redone and everything will be, everything will be changed around. Um, hubby and I spent this past weekend really thinking about my room, how to make it more, um, just better use of the space, better use of the stuff that I have in the room, you know, utilizing the closet for my yarn better, just be getting better yarn storage, that kind of thing. So the idea I had this morning was I went on Crooked Design Space and I did all my furniture moving on Design Space um, with all my measurements and I rearranged the rooms entirely. So this will become the craft room. That will be the other one will be, will be the sewing room. So in this room, everything will come out of this room. So the entire room gets emptied out. All the shelving, everything on the wall comes down. The other stuff comes in, you know, it'll be a combination of stuff from this room, stuff from that room, comes back in this room. Everything will get bolted in where it needs to go. So when the room is empty, we can spackle all the holes because there'll be a lot of them. Spackle the holes, sand them down, have you can do the texture paint, then we can go back over it with paint so the walls are done. Bring the stuff back in and hang the shelves above where I need them, the shelves to go. So I want the stuff below the shelves to work for the stuff that's on the shelves, if that makes sense. So craft room, sewing room, okay? Um, so in the sewing room for my yarn storage, because right now my yarn is in that closet, it's okay in there, but it's not the best. I don't. I, I'm running out of space in there. Hubby first thought, okay, we'll buy some cube organizers to put them in there, and I would have I don't even know, like two nines, two nine cubes, and two six cubes in there. And that would give me plenty of yarn storage. I just think it's bulky inside of a closet because they do go about twelve inches, so it gives you very little space. You know, if you want to get something on the far right or the far left, you're kind of stuck. So I'd rather not have it in there and use that for something different. So I will, the only thing new that we would have to buy would be probably some more spackle and some more paint to touch up the paint and the cubes. So I chose to, to go with only two nine cube organizers for my yarn. So I would have 18 cubbies total. When I have my yarn on those cubes right over there, they were only six. So I had 12. So I think going from 12 to, you know, adding six more cubes is a lot. So I think that'll be plenty enough um, yarn storage for me. I'll probably buy some totes to go inside them as well, just so I can put some other, you know, like the stuff I have in totes now can go in there. And I think on the top of that room, I can have Hubby do shelving along the top, and I can display the plushies that I made as well. So I'm not worried about storing the plushies inside totes, because those obviously take a lot more space. Um, so that's the plan for both rooms. Okay, so take everything out of the room, Come back in, fix everything, put everything back in, and then organize it and put everything back the way it goes. So in this room, I'm going to have, you know, again, the laminate tables will be swapped out a little bit differently. I'll have the Crick Adventure in here. I will have my machine shop that has my machines, my cardstock below that will be in here. My spots of film videos will be in here and also my cup turner. Okay, that's all that's going to be in here. The other room will have my L-shaped desk will be the embroidery. Both my embroidery machines will go there. The other desk will be my sewing. The laser stays in there, my yarn will go in there, and also this table over there, my ironing surface will go over there as well. So the only thing, the only two things missing out of the room is my heat press and the computer and both printers. So with this closet being empty, okay, and in that corner over there where that where that laminate is is where my my machine shelf my machine shelf is going to go. So keep the laminate that's in the closet, just get rid of the bottom to where you can put a chair under it and put the computer in there. Okay, I think it, I think it'd be fine in there. The computer can go in there. Hubby can put a light in there, you know, so you can easily access the printer or the computer. Then on the bottom of that shelf, in the back on the on those side walls of the closet, put both printers. They will not fit on the shelves above. They're just too big. So he can build something they can sit on so they're not sitting on the carpeting in the back. If I want to change the paper or change the ink, I just pull the printer out and I can easily do that. Um, so I think that'll work out really good for the for the computer. Plus stuff, you know, like my kids' crafts go up there in a tote. My Bibles go up there. My um, my pattern books, my binders of patterns, my very software books, all that can kind of go in there. So they're not taking up cubby space here. Um, so I think that's gonna work out really well for that. Whether we put the closet door back on or not, I don't know. Um, I, I'd like to, um, but we'll see. So the computer's gonna go in there. Okay. So now I have a spot for that. Now I need to find a spot for that. 
Okay, that spot, um, actually that heat press I bought two years ago, May of 2022, May 5th of 2022. It's a 16 by 20 swing away from Pro World. I have not a single complaint about it except for a few. It is big, it's heavy, uh, but I did know that buying it. But it does take a long time to get to temperature, like like 20 minutes to 25 minutes. Like if I'm going to 400 degrees for sublimation, you're talking about a half hour, if not more than that. Um, and it stays hot. Like it heats up the whole room. It definitely, it definitely radiates heat. And there's no auto shut off. So it just stays on. So if I turned it on, I forgot about it. It's not going to beep or anything. It'll just stay on, um, which is not good when you have something that hot. So that's going to be sold. So in, pl in replace of that, I did just buy the another heat press off Amazon. I was gonna choose the Cricut Easy Press, like the little handheld one, but I didn't like I didn't, I don't like that I can't I didn't like it to be honest. Um, it was too small. This is 16 by 20. This is a pretty good size. So the one I went with is the HGV Ront um, Auto Heat Press. That is a 15 by 15 size. It's very compact. It does not take up as nowhere near a space as that. It can easily fit on laminate on my countertops that that cannot fit on. It has to fit sideways. Um, I love the look of it, and I think it does a, you know, I played with it yesterday. I think it does a good job. Definitely a little bit of a learning curve because it's a completely different machine, uh, but I do like it a lot. So, and it has a little pull-out 15 by 15 plat drawer. Um, that is kind of tedious, but I like it. So I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to play with it for a few more times, make sure I like it. Hub and I played with it last night. I played with it yesterday. I completely messed up my project because I was just, I wasn't paying attention. Or I had the wrong temperature or time. I burned my vinyl, uh, burned my sublimation. So we're going to try that again today. Um, I have um, sublimation print I'm going to do on a shirt. Um, also one on a mouse pad, maybe on a mouse pad. Maybe we'll, we'll try both on a shirt as well as a mouse pad and also um, heat transfer of vinyl. I'm going to try that because I tried them both yesterday and they were both a failure. Um, so we'll try them again today. Um, so you'll see a video on that later on today. So I'm excited about the rooms um, being different. Now the thing is, once these rooms are done, okay, now hear me out. Once these rooms are done, everything is the way I like it. Everything is hung above that matches below. I'm not going to rearrange the rooms because if they work, why, why fix what's not broken, right? As my dad would say. So and that's the plan. So probably sometime next week, I will give you a tour yet again of both. It'll be the final tour of these two rooms. Um, I'm excited about it. The paint color will stay the same. So there's no additional cost to it other than maybe a, a paint for touching up the, the texture spray, the texture spray, and also the spackle. Uh, we would probably need more of that and the cubes. But hubby already intended on buying the cubes. Actually, he was going to buy four. We're only going to buy two. So we did save a little bit of money that way. But I'm excited about that. So I'll, probably, I'll take everything out. I'll shampoo the carpeting, you know, clean, just give it a good clean, like the walls, everything else, then bring things back in the way that I designed them in design space. All right, now you'll see that video, I said probably next week at one point. Um, so tomorrow video is this, right? Turning this into something different. I'm excited about that. I also want to do a video this week using the We Are Memory Keepers vinyl print press. I want to do a video on that. Um, also, I, I'm being sent a product for review. I was contacted and I, you know, it's for review and I said, yes, yeah, so there's no um, cost. If, if there's not, they're not paying me, in other words, it's not a sponsored video of a little label printer. I'm excited about that. So you'll, you might see that video this week as well, depending on when the little printer gets here. It's a little itty bitty thing. It's like a little label printer, um, but I'll share that with you guys as well. I have a few other projects, I, I know a few other project ideas that I want to make as well. Uh, but I think that's it. I'm going to call, I'm going to call it done now. Um, so we're at 20 minutes. Um... So I'll see you back later on today for a video of me showing you the auto press. I'm not going to do a whole unboxing or, or tour of it because there's plenty of them out there. I watched most of them. Um, just us cutting some vinyl or um, putting some vinyl on a shirt, putting some sublimation on a shirt, and also sublimating on a mouse pad. Um, so I'll see you over there. All right, my friends, that is it. Um, leave me your comments below. What do you think of the new crochet things? What is your favorite critter out of all the ones I showed you? I really am geared toward the frog, the big frog, and also the, the hippo. I just think they're adorable. The alligator is a close. I, I like him a lot. The axolotl is also really adorable. Um, the keychains, of course, the ice cream, I think, are my, I, I think the ice cream is probably my favorite out of those. Um, and the laser things, I really do like the phone stands. I can see myself using the phone stands a lot. So 
Lots of new things to come as well. Um, you might see some of these things on my website probably within the next week or so. Um, once I make them with the right colors I want to get and I buy new yarn. But they'll be, all the plushies will be in a new category called plushies. And the keychains will be in the category called accessories, which is where they are now. All right. Um, you'll find all the information out on my newsletter. And you can do that uh, for free. Clicking on my blog and just going down, you'll see the newsletter sign up. I, that is it, my friends. Any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.